to execute the program in microprocessor laboratory. I know most of you might be fearing in entering the program and seeing where, how to execute the program and particularly we forget it everything at the time of exam and at the time of exam we won't be able to show examiner the result and for that I am bringing you a very short guide how to execute the program in microprocessor laboratory. This is a guide to operate 8085 kit from Danalog instruments which are available in our lab at YCC and my name is Dr. Sumanta Kadwane. Sumanta G. Kadwane. So here I am going to explain how to execute the programs in microprocessor laboratory and before we start if you want to know more about 8085 then you please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that new notification if I am uploading any new programs. So thank you so much and let us move to the next. Before you do anything you must know the following. The first thing is that what is the initial data and where it is to be entered. For example, we want to add the two 8-bit numbers. Those two 8-bit numbers are stored in memory location starting from C100 and C101. Okay, so we must know that before we execute this program and see the result, we must initialize the data at C100H and c 10 one H that is nothing but the initialization which must be done before executing the program. Thereafter we have to enter the program. Program can be entered either in assembly language or by using instruction codes that is nothing but hexadecimal codes. Know what is your result and where the result is to be stored. Okay so uh, if you add two numbers for example 3 and 4 that is nothing but 7 then you must know at what memory location you have to see the result. For example your memory location is C102H then after execution you will check this particular memory location. Thereafter you have to execute the program by using the commands and you need to see at that particular memory location whether you are getting the correct answer or not. Program can be entered as told you earlier by two ways by using the assembly language. Now there is advantage in writing program in assembly language that we can easily type the instructions as we studied by using assembly language in the form of like for example add B that will add the contents of B to accumulator. In this way we will going go on typing the program but there is one drawback that in between there is some wrong entry and uh, because of some reason your program is hanged, kit is hanged and if you reset it in that particular case once again you have to start, start typing it from the first time. So better to use the second method in that particular case when the program is large. So by using the instruction codes that is the hexadecimal numbers. So you can easily the pro enter the program quickly and you can check out the program provided your instruction codes which you are using must be correct. Now here the assumptions as far as this dialog kit is concerned is the starting ad address of the program is C00H all the time because our RAM itself is mapped from the location C000H to FFFFH. That is why we take C000H as the starting address. So let us see quickly how to execute the program and for that what are the important commands. Okay, so let us see first. To edit a particular memory location, the command is E space address 16 16 bit address for example to edit the memory location c100h the command is e c100h if you want to edit the next memory location then you need to simply press escape or space bar not escape space bar and 
there after you can edit the next member location once again space next member location once again space bar next member location you can edit to write the command in assembly language you have to use the instruction a space address 16 bit for example if you want to write the assembly language program from the location c000h the command is a C000H. So when you start the kit, the Dana 85 prompt will be displayed. And after that, when you uh, type this command AC000H in that particular case, C000H memory location will be displayed to you. And you have to type the command in assembly language. And in this way, you have to write the entire program. To execute the result, the command is go space starting address thereafter you have to one time enter and one time space for example go space c0000h this is the symbol of enter and this is the symbol for space so one time you have to do enter and one time you have to do space if you do some mistake, you enter two twice or some other mistake in that particular case, your processor may get stuck and you need to reset it. To display the eight consecutive memory locations, the command is D and thereafter you have to enter. To display the contents of all the registers, accumulator, B, C, D, E, H, L, you have to enter R and thereafter press enter oh, in this way these are the important commands and you can very well execute the program whatever is given to you so here we'll see one of the so let us see a program to add two 16 bit numbers the first number is stored in the memory location starting at c1 c240 so naturally the number is stored at c240 H and C241H because it is a 16 bit number each memory location occupies 8 bit of space and the second number starts at C242 that is it occupies two numbers at C242H and C243H and the result is to be stored at C270H memory location <coughs> so with this let us see what data we need to feed as the input and what should be our output and where our output should be. So input data we are feeding at C240H and C241H that is the number 1234H and another number is stored at C242H and C243H that is 3456H. So these two 16 bit numbers have to be added and and output of this addition is 468AH okay so this output data will be stored in the memory location C270H and C271H as 46H and 8AH respectively go to the program the program is very simple the first command is lhld c240h this will load the contents of the memory location c240 and c241 into the hl register pair so lower address will be copied into l that is c240 contents will be copied into l and c241 contents will be copied into h uh, thereafter exchange this command will exchange the contents of HL register pair with D register pair so that the HL data will be copied into D register pair further command is LHLDC242 so this will load the two memory locations C242H and C243H into HL register pair Thereafter, we have to do the 16-bit addition for that the command is dat d. This command will add the contents of the register pair de with the contents of the register pair ahl. And we need to store the result h at c270 and the next memory location. Second byte for that the command is shld. 
that is store HL direct to the corresponding memory location. And with this we have to stop. Let us enter the program for addition of 216 bit numbers. Uh, here let us start entering the program in assembly language. So for that the command is A space starting address which is C000H and uh, commands are L H L D C two four zero H. Thereafter we have to exchange that is X C S G. Thereafter L H L D C two four two H. Then after that D, the direct addition of register pairs, S, H and storing these register pairs from C to 7, 0, H. So here we have entered the program, RST1 is remaining. And with this we have entered the program, now let us first check what are the memory locations for initialization. So we have to initialize the memory location C240. So let us edit that C240H. What should be our numbers? Numbers we are taking is 1, 2. Next number it should be 3, 4. For C241. Thereafter for C242 it should be 3, 4. And 4, 3, it should be 5, 6. And now we'll see first what is the value of our result before we execute the program. So, result is at E C270H. So, it is 43, it should be 46. And it is 65 here, that is some random number, it should be 8A. So let us execute the program, for that the command is E, the command is for execution go C000H, that is starting address, one time enter and one time space and thereafter we will see the result memory location is at EC270 or rather we can also display the result D C270 and let us see the answer is 46 and 8a so in this way we can very well enter the numbers in uh, hexadecimal as well as we can also write the assembly language program thank you so much for watching this video and if you really found this video useful then don't forget to give me a like so that I will understand that you are finding my videos useful for your lab sessions as well as during your exams and I will prepare more and more videos for you. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye for now.